Huge congratulations to the Archers boys there, another cup final. I've got Atticus B joining me now, our football correspondent. Atticus, that was quite the game, wasn't it? Pretty impressive, Dan, and that's a win the Archers really needed. Their first win in almost a month and a half. Impressive performance, and it was quite good. For you, you were down at the game. What were your thoughts on it? Who stood out? What was what were the best sort of moments about it? What won the game for Met on, on the weekend? So you guys just saw with the highlights, you saw the three minutes of the game that went through there. 87 other minutes, though, I think can be described pretty simply. Dan, do you like Oreos? I do. What's your favorite part of the Oreo? It's got to be the cream in the middle, I thought. The cream in the middle. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. This is an Oreo. We all, Lots of people like Oreos. You've got both sides of this thing. I just broke it, but that's okay. You've got Barry's defense. Nice and solid. You've got their attack. Pretty good. They scored two goals. Impressive. Then you've got this middle that Cardiff Met just destroyed over and over <laughs> for the entire 87 minutes. It was scary to watch. Cardiff Met were finally good in the midfield for the first time. They owned that area of the pitch. We don't have the exact possession stats, but we estimated about 60% possession for the Archers. They totally dominated the midfield. Barry crumbled, just like this Oreo in my hand. That's the whole point of what the Archers did well. They totally owned that middle of the field. Barry could not. Honestly, the 3-2 score is a little misleading. Cardiff Met should have scored more goals. They could have scored more goals. They really owned that game. Good to hear, and, and, and I'm liking the analogy with the, with the Oreo there. <laughs> in terms of individuals, who do you think stood out? You, you mentioned the midfield. Were there, were there specific players that played well? Or was it, it generally just a great team performance? So the Archers did something different this week. Uh, CJ Craven came in at left back, and Kyle McCarthy shifted up to the midfield. So when they were in possession, they would go to a back three. Craven would come back and play as the third center back. McCarthy would go up to the midfield, get more numbers there. He was really the key to the game. He owned every part of that midfield area. So you think when you have your number 10, your creative player, they normally play right behind your forwards, provide the goals from there. McCarthy did that, but from further back. He was right in front of the defense playing that number 10 role. Barry just gave him all kinds of space in that midfield. That's really where the Archers won this game. McCarthy was able to move the ball left to right, back and forth, no problem at all. He's really the reason why they won. That change, I thought, was really astute. The past few games for the Archers, like I mentioned, it's just been a struggle in midfield. So doing that was really, really good. It was just a really nice change to see. And Cardiff Met, honestly, that was their best game I've seen them play in the past two months. It was really impressive. You mentioned perhaps a bit, little bit of inconsistency over the past few months. Um, defensively, again, two goals perhaps was a bit misleading, but they, they were so solid at the back as well, weren't they? They really were. And then you guys saw that first goal. That first goal was honestly just a bit of luck. With the sun, it looked like the ball was going over. Hard to really fault anyone there. Second goal, end of the game, last minute, didn't really matter. The rest of the game, the Archers really did own that game. At the midfield, again, of course, they really dominated that space. Barry couldn't push into it very well. But even when Barry went forward, Cardiff Met did a really good job of hanging back and letting their defenders just take control of the area there. With those three center backs, Barry couldn't ever get inside the middle. They were forced to just stay outside and try to throw long crosses in. It never worked. Cardiff Met really did manage to own that midfield area in every sense. Forward, midfield, back. Barry just didn't have any real options. And looking ahead now to the final, um, it's another cup final for, for Met. Where is it? Who are they playing? Go and give us some details on that one. So we don't know exactly where it is. They're still working on the details of the final location. But it will be Saturday, February 5th. Uh, it'll be at 12.30 p.m. Again, we don't know the exact location. A few factors up in the air for that one. Uh, but 12.30 p.m., Saturday, February 5th, they'll be playing Connors Key. Again, we're not sure entirely where. That should come to us in the next month. Uh, but that first cup final for the last couple years for the Archers. This will be their third appearance, though, in this cup final for the last four years. So hoping to get their second trophy win this season. And how do you think they're going to have to set up against Connors Key? Because they're a good side, they're a strong side. What are they going to have to do in that game to perhaps and, and take it on from everything they've taken from the Barrytown game going forward to, to Connors Key? So Connors Key, they won the Nathaniel MG Cup last time this cup was played before COVID-19 hit. They're the current trophy holders. Uh, they're really, really dominant when they go forward. Uh, Connors Key really know how to score goals. That's really been the Archers' problem this season has been scoring goals themselves. So I think when you're looking at how to set up for this game, you just need to make sure a clean sheet's the goal. Yes, you want to score goals. Yes, you want to win. That's exactly what happened in the Barry game. The Archers went for goals, got their goals, and that's what made the difference. This time, though, I think you have to focus on a clean sheet. If you get a clean sheet, you can win this game. I know that seems obvious to say, but really, this is what the Archers need to do. If you can keep Connors Key out of your goal, you'll have a chance the entire game. You just need one break to go your way. You're fine. If you give, it, if you give up a goal to Connors Key, you have to open up at the back, get more players forward. Connors Key love that. They'll score a lot of goals from there. You can't let that happen. 
And if we were to put you in the managerial hot seat here, would you make any change to the squad? And what are you foreseeing for the game? What are your personal thoughts? What you, how do you think the game's going to go? I'd love to say go back and do the same thing you just did against Barrytown. Go back to the three center backs, Craven and left back, McCarthy in midfield. I don't know how well that'll work against Connors Key. They're a totally different team than Barrytown. So I think you have to go back to your tried and true, your four main defenders. You have to go with your three in midfield, your three players up top, and just try to get possession when you can and counterattack when you need to. Uh, not really parking the bus per se, but you do need to have a strong defense first. That's the focus. Not the same thing against Barry. Against Barry, the focus, honestly, was score goals, get ahead. Against Connors Key, it can't be that way. I think you go back to your four main defenders, your three in midfield. You try to set up a seven-man blanket in your third of the field. You can't let Connors Key beat you inside. You have to keep them outside into the wings. That, I think, is what you focus on. Awesome. Well, thanks for, for chatting with us, Zaticus. Uh, and we're all looking forward to the final once again. Awesome. Excited Cheers. to be there.